one of the most beautiful games ever chess genius grandmaster let's see it hello everyone and welcome back how are you so today we will see a match between grandmaster daniel dubov against grandmaster nial serene and this game was played when it was played oh i cannot see it let me check so it was played two years ago in the world rapid tournament and you know this game was just a beautiful one so let's see it and analyze how daniel dubov one of the most you know uh, talented chess players in the world the magician played just incredible moves so the game started with d4 d5 c4 d takes c4 knight to f3 knight f6 and e3 you know white just wants to take the pawn back and black is playing e6 bishop takes c4 and c5 and you know in this position there were so much drawish uh, games between the best players in the world uh, you know castle a6 black just wants to push b5 bishop b7 knight bd7 rook c8 bishop b7 castle queen c7 something around this and white probably can play i don't know d takes c5 there were very uh, you know large amount of of players that uh, took it and you know bishop takes c5 takes takes knight c3 b3 bishop b2 rook c1 rook fd1 and very drawish position uh, yeah so but daniel dubov is not someone that will do a draw very quick from the opening he will play the move queen to e2 and this is first very uh, you know like a straightforward move because He's telling you, you know, I want to play rook d1, knight c3, e4 maybe, I want to push, I want to play for the initiative and this is something that I really like uh, from Daniel Dubov. b5, bishop d3, and now c takes d4 was played by Nial Serene. Of course, I want uh, to tell you guys about Nial Serene, very, very strong, talented uh, Indian grandmaster. You know, I played against him when he was a child and it was a blitz game and he just played amazing. Uh, really really I was really shocked uh, so yeah this is very very strong and um, one of the most talented players in uh, India so after bishop d3 he took the pawn on d4 I'm not sure about this move because uh, I don't know bishop b7 looks very nice maybe knight b7 maybe knight c6 also c4 makes a little bit sense for me uh, but c takes d4 it means like you know the, the the pieces are not developed so yeah i'm not sure about this one so he played move a4 and as you can see white already castled right and black didn't develop his bishop before castling and also the other uh, other pieces are not developed so a4 white is playing for the initiative and this is daniel dubov this is one of the most um you know characters of him is playing always for the initiative uh, it doesn't matter for him to sacrifice pawn two pawns three pawns maybe a piece just wants to attack and to play with all the pieces so b takes a4 was played rook takes a4 and now bishop e7 was played by nial serene and d takes e3 i don't know uh, should be fine for black bishop takes e3 and the point that knight c3 knight rook d1 rook d4 and as you can see all the white pieces are really good developed and black no really no so it's it's really beautiful to see um, how daniel dubov is playing in the opening right rook a4 and just bishop e7 was played nial serene felt like he must develop his pieces uh, and castle immediately rook takes d4 of course the queen is under attack queen to b6 and now knight bd2 also another very nice move uh, that i really like daniel dubov as i said wants to develop all his pieces he wants to attack and play with all of them and this is something that we need to learn from him right because he, he asking himself where do i want to put my knight on c4 okay how can i bring it to, to there knight bd2 great 
Knight c6, and now very, very beautiful uh, move by Daniel Dubov. I really want you to stop the video now and think by yourself, which move do you prefer here for white? And Daniel Dubov is doing just very nice and, you know, also special move here. Rook to h4. And I really want to say to you guys, Rook h4, for me, it's the first brilliant move for this game. Because what Daniel Dubov understand, the king on e8 will not be on e8, right? Long castle, it's not so good because everything is open here in the queen side. So he must go for the um, short castle. But after short castle, this rook on h4 will do a crazy job here on h5. So rook h4, very, very understandable move. Bishop b7. Um, yeah, the, the computer here in chesscom says, oh, it's an accuracy. But let's see. Knight c4, of course. We are developing a knight where we want to, to put him. And also, of course, uh, to attack the queen on b6 with tempo. Queen is to c7. And now also, I want you to stop the video and think. We already learned about Daniel Dubov. He wants to play with all his pieces. Which move do you want uh, to play here? And Daniel Dubov is showing bishop to d2. And chesscom is doing, oh, it's inaccuracy, but it's just amazing move. Uh, you know, in my opinion, of course, bishop to d2. He wants to put the bishop on c3 and maybe also rook c1 and knight c5, right? So bishop d2 is probably, you know, like makes a lot of sense because he's developing two pieces, two pieces and not only one, right? So this is very, very important to understand. And also the bishop on c3 will do a great job in this diagonal, c3, h8. So let's see how it goes. Castle, and now Dani Dubov is doing bishop to c3, another very, very strong move. As you can see, the knight is doing great. The bishops and the knight and the rook and the queen, only this rook on f1 uh, is not in his best um, position, right? So now bishop f6 is really annoying. So black play the move g6 looks, you know, looks very tempting for black because, okay, I just want to block um, this diagonal with g6. Makes sense. Knight to g5. Another very, very strong move. And as you can see, all his pieces are going for the, the attack. The king is feeling bad here. The knight is coming to g5 and also opening the... Um, you know, diagonal for the queen. Maybe the queen will come to f3, h3, something around this one. So it means like all white pieces are going for the attack. And now black is playing in the move knight to d5. And as you can see, this is a blunder. But now this is your turn to stop the video and think how can we win this position? How Daniel Dubov, the world rapid, 2022 won the game in only one move so the solution is queen to h5 what a move what a sacrifice what a brilliant move by the magician daniel duo now nial Serin resigned the game and why because of course g takes h5 bishop takes h7 Checkmate on the board, just brilliantly, brilliantly with the knight, with the bishop, and this bishop are doing together a great job to win this position. After queen h5, there is nothing to do. After knight f6, just bishop takes, and queen h7 is just a crushing checkmate on the board. So after queen h5, Dubov won this game. You can see that he's playing with all his pieces, and this is the lesson you learn in this video how can you take all your pieces develop and work together to bring just a magician solution of chess this is chess heart so thank you very much daniel dubov for this lesson and i must tell you guys i really recommend you to see some games of daniel dubov he is one of the most talented chess players in the world and you know, he also was so much time the second of Grandmaster, the world champion, Magnus Carlsen.
I really hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel and see you soon for more chess content. Bye bye.